Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at XLM Stellar Lumens, outlining a potential 150% move off of the lows to 18 cents here for XLM, doing a bit of Elliott Wave analysis and just discussing the rotation in the market, preparing in advance for that rotational aspect of the market, money moving from Bitcoin to Ethereum to the rest of the altcoins, what some people would call an alt season and why we need to be prepared in, in advance for that. But if you haven't already guys, smash this video a like, that really really helps. Let's try and get to 30 today. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this analysis, if it helps or not. And of course subscribe, let's get into it. So let's kick start this analysis with a bit of Elliott Wave analysis. And my main count here for XLM is the bottom is in here and we have a nice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the upside with an impulse. And you might ask why this high has taken out that. And I think it's because we then got an expanded flat to the downside like this, where we get an A to the downside, B takes the highs, and we get a fast wave C to the downside. And the measurements for that C to the downside, if we take the top of this, a wave down to the lows, back to the top of B. You can see here we came precisely to the 1.618, which is giving me the sense that this is an expanded flat to the downside, which would mean this downside move here for the altcoins and the rest of the market is done with Bitcoin popping up today. I think the um, clues have been given with the altcoins and Bitcoin in general. So what we need to do is get some targets for the upside, because if XLM is about to make another wave to the upside, this is how we're going to identify some price targets for that big fed wave to the upside. So what I'm going to do here to try and get them targets to the upside is just pull the trend base Fibonacci from the low to the top of the impulse here where we had wave 5 down to the bottom of C wave there. And we'll have a little zoom out here and see where the um, where the extensions come up to there. And you can see that's why I've got that 18 cents region marked out up at the um, 4.236. Really nice target. Sometimes the 3.618. So we'd have 16 cents also marked out on your zones. But what we can do as well is get a bit of confluence here from the high here to the low and see where that Fibonacci extension comes out to. And you can see the 4.618 comes directly to that 4.236 of the overall trend-based Fibonacci there. Really a lot of confluence up and around these 3.618 levels, 4.236. So in my opinion, guys, that 16 cents and 18 cents zone, really, really key level, watching out for this big move to the upside. And to get another bit of confluence here, I'm going to leave that zone there on the chart at 18 cents. And what I'm going to do is just pull the Fibonacci from the local swing high where we began capitulation to the downside and pull it all the way to the bottom there. And you can see the 61.8% retracement mark and the 702 coming around the 17 and 18 cents region. So again, another bit of confluence here for XLM to at least retrace back to the upside with the full extension of this move down. So what I'm going to be looking out for, guys, is exactly at that 17, 18, 19 cents region. I think that would be a really, really good profit take zone for anyone who's been investing at the lows and at the bottom of wave two. I would never suggest to jump into a nice pump to the upside. I can never say to do that because I never say I never do that myself. So I'm never going to say to my audience that I think that that's a good idea because I'm not a financial advisor in the at the end of the day. But this is just another bit of confluence, guys, as to why I think that 18 cents region is going to come into play very, very soon for XLM. When we start to think about the rotational aspect of the market and when the Bitcoin dominance is going up now, like when Bitcoin is taking the lead as it is now, we just need to be on the watch out for the Bitcoin dominance and where that could skyrocket to. And this was the tweet that I put out back in January the 16th. And you can see here I was expecting the uh, Bitcoin dominance to head up towards around the 50-56% mark and follow this t this kind of path. And I've, I've left this on the Bitcoin dominance chart right now. So I'm going to jump into the Bitcoin dominance chart, have a look at where Bitcoin dominance is now from when we was looking back in January and outline where the big chance for the altcoins is to run. And as you can see, guys, the Bitcoin dominance is following very, very nicely, following as we was expecting the Bitcoin dominance rising. And if we was to follow this fractal, we would get a couple of drops in dominance before we get to that 56% retracement mark. So that would be the chance for altcoins to skyrocket and catch up to Bitcoin. Let's say Bitcoin keeps on pushing here, 30, $35,000, something like that gets up to this dominance then the altcoins play catch up we have a fall in dominance bitcoin goes on for another rally then the altcoins catch up once again that is the rotational aspect of the market pictured in bitcoin dominance here so i do think we're going to get a couple of chances here for altcoins to catch up to bitcoin and that is when everyone is calling for alt season but by the time everyone is calling for alt season it usually is over and the big percentage gains are done with 
So if we just take a zoom out, guys, on the higher time frames, monthly time frame here, big inefficient candle that was not being filled yet, up and around the 16 to 17 cents region. So that is just another confluential level for XLM to head towards. And you can see the reaction that we've got here from this monthly candle breaker here. Big retest, monthly candle clo closure at the minute looking really, really good for that push to the upside. Would be expecting 16, 17 and 18 cents. So at least 100 to 150% off of the lows here for XLM. Of course, it's not financial advice, guys. This is just a bit of analysis on the XLM chart using a bit of psychology and the rotational aspect of the Bitcoin dominance. Preparing for their moves in the altcoins. So if you did like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, don't, comment down below, subscribe. And of course, again, not financial advice, but sit back, relax and let the market do the work. Cheers, guys, and I will see you next time.